Great, Fred. So, why don't you try to tell us a little bit more about your own individual journey, about what happened when you were going through a healing crisis, which might just as well be called a detoxification, as well as other people that you've seen clinically over the last 50 years? Oh, well, I've seen thousands of people go through healing crisis. I mean, you name it, uh, I've probably seen it. And uh, uh, I know I stopped a long time ago guiding people on water fast because I did not have a fasting retreat. So I would send people to see guys like Dr. Scott and people like that. But uh, I do, you know, I've had plenty of people go on uh, ju liquid uh, juice diets or, or juice uh, fasting, which a lot of people say it's not a fast because you're actually getting in some, taking in some nutrition. But um, it's basically, it's not that complicated. The first thing that I used to do if I got into, uh, in the early stages, if I got into a, a healing crisis was to either, you know, fast, go on, you know, do some uh, water fast. And I have found out that uh, short, repeated short-term water fast are much safer than doing uh, long-term water fast. There are still people out there that uh, have people do these long heroic uh, water fast. I no longer think they're necessary and I no longer think uh, they're, uh, they're really safe. And I have fasted over 40 days on water twice and over 30 days more times, but I don't even want to go into that and have lived months on juices. So you reach a point where as long as you're staying on your diet, you're just, and you're doing the right thing, you really don't go into a healing crisis. It just doesn't happen. And of course, stress is very, very important. But if you do go into a healing crisis, and of course, seek professional guidance. Uh, if it's not available, and if it's, it's not an emergency medical situation, uh, what you do is you rest as much as you can. Make sure, you know, if you want to do colonics or do enemas and take probiotics and systemic enzymes and things like that, but it's always a good idea to, to uh, have professional guidance. But the, the key is to make sure that you're getting plenty of rest, and uh, if, you, if you lose your desire to eat, then seek professional guidance. Maybe you can go on juices or you can go to a fasting retreat and do, uh, have somebody guide you through a water fast. But you must, in cases like that, when you think there's any, share, uh, any chance of being any kind of a risk, you always, uh, uh, you know, err on the side of caution. Get, get professional uh, advice, you know. You might have to go to a doctor and get a blood test. You might have to find out if you are into a state of some kind of a, an acute disease where you do need medical supervision. Otherwise, go to a good nutritionist, somebody that has experience in healing crisis and has uh, dealt with people that uh, are changing their lifestyle and uh, that's you know done it many times, which uh, actually makes it pretty easy. And uh, you gotta make sure that uh, you're mentally ready to commit yourself to whatever has to be done, remember, you have to do this the way it has to be done. Your body is, is governed by natural law, and it's really very, very important that you understand that. And you're not gonna change natural law because uh, some kind of a rationalization or you just don't know something. You don't know what you don't know. I mean, trying to change the natural laws that your body lives by is like jumping out of a plane without a parachute and thinking you're a, you can fly like a bird. It's not gonna happen. So. It's, um, there's a basic truth in it's, it's to leave out the processed food and if you try to eat plenty of raw foods, if you can't go all raw, that's fine, you can still be healthy. There's all kinds of cleansing you could do with salts and Epsom salts and warm baths and uh, oxygen therapy and meditation and prayer, massage, uh, so, you know, exercising near the ocean and sunbathing at the proper time so you don't get burned, you don't want to get a burn. Remember, your body knows exactly what to do. It has this fabulous God-given remedial capabilities, which is absolutely awesome. And uh, I think a lot of times people under, underestimate the body's uh, God-given remedial capabilities. We are designed to be self-regulating and self-healing. 